Okay, so this is the heart task, uh, which is task two, I believe, on your on your sheet. Um, so I've given you this image of a heart, which you're going to draw into your sketchbook on A3. Um, now, you can use mixed media for this task if you want to. Um, you can use paint, you can work into it with colour pencil. I know that lots of you are really great with colour pencil, so that's absolutely fine to overlap it with um, a wash of paint first and then work into it with pencil. Um, I'm open to whatever you feel is right for you. But I thought I'd show you how to use um, gouache today anyway. Um, so at school, this is presented as um, a tube of paint and you just squirt it out onto a palette and it will grow hard on your palette, but you can reinvigorate it. You can bring it back to life by putting water in it. And that's what these are. They're just so solid gouache, um, like your watercolour um, palettes that you have at school. But they are um, thicker and stronger in colour than the watercolour. So what I've done first is a background, which by now you know how to do these. So uh, for this one, I've used Quink. Um, in the background quite washed out and it goes this really lovely purpley bluey colour and you get all of these mottled effects here and I've actually sprinkled a bit of brush -o over the top um, and then squirted with my water bottle so I've got these kinds of speckles and kind of veins and it definitely looks inside the body-ish at the moment already. I then sketched out the shape of the heart um, and started to add some of that paint already. Um, things that I wanted to show you is because this background is already down um, we don't have to put a lot a lot on really um, we've got that mid ground done already so I've decided I'm just going to come in here it's really black in there and things that I sort of I guess naturally do without really thinking about it is I clean my brush and dry my brush quite a lot um, it is a kind of a habit that I've got into and it makes sure that you are not putting puddles of paint on your page and that you're keeping the consistency of your paint uh, correct. So to blend those two things in together, I clean my brush, dry my brush and then bring those two things together. And it works quite nicely and then I'm just going to fade that out and then just going to fade this down here and then I need to get some white um, and I've been talking in some of my other videos that I've uploaded for you about artist links now obviously this is an early task but there is an opportunity here for you to link in an artist already and I will show you what one I think would work quite well as I've just had the thought so I'm using the white gouache at the moment to put those highlights in so I'm using kind of a, a squiggling motion, I guess is what I would refer it to. Um, sometimes I'm using the contouring where I'm sweeping around the shape, coming down. Yeah, there's more of a block. And it is about kind of building this up in layers. You know, I'm not done with any of this yet. I've got to kind of go back in and, and build up some more um, layers to some of these parts making it have a bit more depth to it um, so that will do for that and then the artist that I wanted to incorporate with this um, and as I said to you before I'd start bringing in lots of circles into my work because the artist Fernanda Vince, Vincent, Vincent, where are you? I don't know, it's disappeared now. I think I've used the page. This artist here um, puts the, the work in a circle and I'm going to use that now. And this is the first thing in my sketchbook. I decided to do the heart first um, just because it happened that way. Um, and I'm going to use my bin to draw around uh, and hope that it's central. Soon find out if it's not. Oopsie. There we go. Oh, that's fine. And then I'm going to paint all of this edge here 
um, black, but I will use um, black acrylic for that um, so that it gets better coverage. Um, so I'm going to add some water to that acrylic just to thin it down a bit so it goes a bit further for me. And I'm going to be cutting around there. And I'm already starting to now think about artists and how I might be inspired by them even on this first task. Okay, so I'll show you how this has turned out um, when we're back in school. But I just thought in these, these first few weeks these um, videos might be useful for when you're at home trying to finish off bits of work because I've already moved on to the next task because it's fast guys it's fast and you've got to make sure that you're catching up at home and coming over at lunchtime uh, to make sure that you're getting all the help that you might might not need the time the time on those rainy days come to the art rooms okay so that already looks really dynamic and it's uh, really effective so i'll finish the painting with the hearts and show you when we're back in school okay <laughs> 